part. Well, they that's kind of cool. Yeah. If you watch them out there, when they fire, they work in teams. One guy shoots, the other loads. When the guy loading is ready to shoot, they'll stay ready, and the other guy fires. And then you always have one weapon loaded while the other guy is loading. Think about what that does to rate the fire. It drops it. It drops it by half of the amount of light going out of there. It's dropped in half, and they're spread out, so it's even by a greater factor. In fact, between them right now, you could probably have in line about 14 troops, so 14 firing all the time. That was ready, sir! No. So the amount of fire in the skirmish formation, let's say... I think it actually starts in 20 minutes. ...1 12 what you have with the regular battle line. You see why skirmish formation is not going to do what you want to do. They're getting up lead to protect the enemy. But it has its purposes. For instance, in this case, the infantry is coming forward. They're not presenting targets. The artillery is firing. What about a cannon? A shell is only one more shell. That's only one bullet, so to speak. It goes right through these guys. It's ineffective. So they have an advantage against the artillery as they're moving and they're maneuvering here as skirmishers. By the way, personal note, I learned how to do that with the Confederates. They can't do well. So as they're engaging the artillery, at this point, they're within range, and the artillery will be feeling the fire of the skirmishers, but they can't really return effective fire on the skirmishers. So that means the artillery, it can't really operate by itself, but needs what we call infantry support. And why the pan here is a battalion of infantry support. So the Confederate infantry is now rallied into a small company because the dismount had twice so much shit. In fact, the 2nd Kentucky Cavalry, also known as the Orphans, they're Confederates, they have mountain houses, they have cavalry, so they're operating together there. Their artillery uh, unit is operating with their cavalry. The vehicle call you hear is advanced, so the Union Infantry is going to to advance. That's the call for advance, and when you see the flag go out, six paces in front of the infantry, you know that they're ready to move forward. The flag acts as a guide for the center of the company, or center of the battalion. As they move forward, they try to keep their relative position. So, yeah, there's kind of a rock, scissors, pace thing going on here. You've got a heavy, uh, you have a regular line of infantry here, and the skirmishers don't have a problem holding up to that. So, whereas total support is going to help them a bit against this regular infantry. Okay, so we're going to keep that one. No, but uh, the Union forces have detached, a small detachment of our own. They don't want to count the distance off on the right there. So watch the tank. Let's talk about the way an uh, infantry unit would fire. They could fire by battalion. That's every gun fires all at once. They could fire by rank, the front rank. 
on the rear rank. They can fire by file. Or the men from the right start firing and they fire all the way down the line and then they load at will and shoot whenever they're loaded. And right now it looks like the order's been given to do fire by file. second rank has to bring their weapons over the shoulder of the people in front and between their heads and it's kind of a, a sweet spot for the to do that so we don't annoy the guys in the front rank. They also make a step over with their right foot when they do that. If you notice on that infantry line, the sergeants have the in the back. That's file closers and they're kind of safety officers for watching the action, making sure the privates are doing the duty and doing it well. And we have officers behind them. Pastor, 75 yards! Our infantry is representing a battalion that has a flag, so it's a single battalion. So if we had a brigade operating here, the brigade commander would be forced to ride in up and down the line and giving commands to his battalion colonels as to what to do next. And then it goes back to the division, and the division will tell the brigadiers to do their brigades and the chain of command is followed. Or is attempted to be followed. That would be important. That is a friction that works against smooth. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like right from the left. Well, yeah, I do. I'm not making a problem. We can't have some artillery support for this. It's like the kids are saying. That's the call that makes fire. In this case, it's fire by fire. Thank you. 
guys. That's pretty close to him. Pretty following the time. Another thing about oh, look at that biggest oh, 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 oh,